growling at you to try to take your food away from you. <laughs> oh. When? No. We'll feed you next. We're going to cook you up some fish today. When I first started thinking about this idea to move out here, one of the decisions you have to make is you could either walk, you could have a snow machine, which most people do. The other option is to have a dog team. Let's go. I just wanted to try to do things in a more traditional way, and I figured dogs were a good place to start. But you got to come up with the food to feed them. What do you think about how many salmon are we going to have? I don't know what to expect. Me neither. We're going to check the net that we set last night. Hopefully, the fish are running. Is it bobbing? I don't notice it. No, it looks pretty still. If we can't get the majority of the dog food from the land, then we don't have enough. There's one. Seven. Eight. How many? Yeah, there's probably there's probably 20 fish in the net. Woohoo! That's good. These creatures are are just just miracles when you think about how far they've come and how hard they fight to just do what nature's telling them to do. Now it's going to go on to serve another purpose, which is fueling our dog team. So thanks, Salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler and I like to fish until we get to 400 salmon. We only get like a 10-day window to fish because once the ice starts to go in on the shore, you got to pull the net. That's all of them? Yeah, I'll count them. Even though Tyler and I have been doing this six years, that doesn't mean we've got everything nailed. 22, 29 males. We kind of make it up on the fly because there's nobody to ask how to do it. That's a good start. <laughs>